When 15-year-old Emanuela Orlandi finished her second year of high school in Rome in 1983, she chose to continue with flute lessons at the Tommaso Ludovico da Victoria School. June 22, 1983, Emanuela asked her brother, Pietro, to accompany her to the bus to the music school. But he had prior commitments. She arrived late to class that day and later telephoned her sister who informed her that she had given was given a job opportunity to become a representative of Avon Cosmetics. The rep who presented her with the op- opportunity spoke to her before her music lesson, causing Emanuela to run late. Later that day, Emanuela told a friend about her job before getting into a BMW and riding off. Emanuela Orlandi was never seen again. Many false leads materialized over the years, as did an abundance of theories on what happened to the young girl. Some believe that a Bulgarian neo-fascist youth group abducted her. Others claim that she was living in a Muslim community in Paris. Even more outrageous theories include that her kidnapping was part of a plot to kill St. John Paul II. Or could even be linked to the uh, seedy underbelly of Rome. 2017, an Italian journalist claimed to have stolen a document from the Vatican, which suggested that the Holy See arranged Emanuela's disappearance. The Vatican immediately claimed it as fake news. July of 2019, the Vatican excavated the tombs of two 19th century German princesses in, in Pontifical Teutonic College Cemetery after an anonymous tip was received and Emanuela's remains were buried inside them. Instead, they found completely empty tombs, meaning the remains of the princesses are in question as well. During these excavations, two sets of bones were found under a stone slab and were inspected and determined to be old and to be the too old to be the remains of Emanuela Orlandi. The Vatican closed its investigation, but the mysterious uh, the mystery still remains. What actually happened to Emanuela? 